So that includes a young Mexican-American boxer from the East Bay who shows us how he keeps lacing up for the fight while battling through his own disability. Today in the Bay's Bob Rodell has more on what keeps him motivated to get into that ring. People in the crowd are like, oh, our guy is going against that handicap. When Jose Maria Delgado steps into the ring, like, like, oh, that's an easy win for us. Sometimes his greatest opponent isn't the other fighter. And my mom would be like, so wait, what happened to the handicap kid? Like, it's his own right leg. You know, start complaining. You lost to a kid with one leg. You know what I mean? Delgado, also known as El Chema, lost his limb in a car accident along I-5 when he was just six months old. Doctors reattached it, but it still remains weakened, disfigured, and in need of a brace during bouts. Jose's had about 70 surgeries just to repair that leg. One of the big ones was when he was around 9 or 10 years old, left him bedridden and about 100 pounds heavier. So to get in shape, he took up boxing. I never took boxing as, a, oh, something serious at first. I just did it to get me in condition, help me lose weight. Now a 26-year-old, 126-pound featherweight out of Brentwood, Delgado has two professions, killing bugs for a fumigation company with his dad. And exterminating the hopes of any boxer who dare step into the ring with him. He primarily fights in his parents' home country of Mexico with a professional record so far of nine wins and just one loss. So as Mexicans, they, they say we have that that warrior's blood. You know, we don't give up until until we say we're done. Boxing coach Robert Garcia helped El Chama turn pro back in 2017. It's pretty much fighting with on one foot. The other one is just supporting a little bit of balance, but besides that. It's not doing anything for you. It's always going to be hard, but it's never impossible to, to accomplish something you want to do. Whatever muscle he lacks in his leg, El Chema makes up for it with the other muscle he's been building all his life, his heart. It's given me the opportunity to create a story, a story for, for people to be inspired by. Then I don't blame anybody for what happened to me. You know, I think I'm blessed to have this as well. In Milpitas, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.